there are some groups on ground that have sued President Muhammadu Buhari, the Senate, and others over Loretta Honor Chase nomination as Independent National Electoral Commission, you know, INEC Commissioner. You know, they have gone ahead to sue Buhari and, you know, Senate. A coalition of civil society organization, which is CSO, has urged the Federal High Court in Abuja to set aside President Mamadou Buhari's nomination of Loretta Onoche as a national commissioner of the Independent National Electoral Commission. The plaintiff urged the court to bar the Senate and President Buhari from screening, confirming, or appointing Loretta Onoche. The plaintiffs in their suits filed on July 6, 2021 are challenging Senate's referral, concentration screening, and possible confirmation of MS Onoche uh, for the position of on the grounds that she is a well-known card-carrying member of the All Progressive Congress APC and currently serving as a personal assistant on social media to President Buhari. Citing various constitutional provisions barring card carrying members of political parties from being nominated or appointed to serve in the electoral body, the plaintiffs asked the courts to declare Ms. Honor Chase's nomination as INEC Commissioner as wrongful, illegal, and null and void, and pray that the same should be set aside. They pointed out that the Nigerian constitution expressly prohibits the president from appointing a person involved in the partisan politics as a national commissioner or resident electoral commissioner of the independent national electoral commission. Yes, it shouldn't even, uh, Nigerians should not even accept that because you are in the party. You are, a, uh, you are in the party of APC and uh, also uh, you are, you know, serving as a, 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 a an advisor or on social media to President Mahmoud Buhari. So if you become a commissioner of INEC, definitely there is no way the rigging would not be very, very smooth and swift. So she cannot be the commissioner because she is part of Buhari's cabinet and it can't work like that. And the nine plaintiffs in the suit marked FHC ABJ CS604 include the International Press Center IPC, Center for Citizens with Disabilities CCDC, Nigerian Women Trust Fund NWTF, and Albino Foundation AF. The rest are the Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center CISLAC, Center for Journalism, Innovation and Development CJID, and the Aga Africa Initiatives. They sued President Buhari, the Attorney General of the Federation, the Nigerian Senate and Kabiru Gaya, the Chairman, Senate Committee on INEC, as the first to the fourth respondent, respectively. Mr. Buhari had, in a letter to the National Assembly, asked the lawmakers to approve Ms. Onoche's nomination for the position of a commissioner at the Electoral Empire. Ms. Onoche can candidacy for the top INEC job has triggered uproar among Nigerians over allegations of a former being a staunch supporter of the ruling All Progressive Congress. A Premium Times report exposed how Ms. Onoche declared on oath in a suit she filed in 20, uh, uh, 2011 and uh, amended in 2017 that she is a member of the APC and a volunteer at the Buhari Support Organization, BSO, a network of staunch supporters of Mr. Buhari's political interests. The suit filed by the nine plaintiffs is the culmination of widespread public outrage that has greeted the news of Ms. Onoche's nomination by President Muhammadu Buhari. Their lawyers, Justin Chuang and Akintai of Balogun, cited Section 1, bracket 3, 154, bracket 1, Section 14, bracket 2A, and 14, 3, bracket 3, 3, B of the third schedule of the Nigerian Constitution as well as Section 146 of the Electoral Act in 2010 in arguing against a nomination. 
In their affidavit filed in support of the suit, the plaintiffs averred that as regards Ms. Onoche's nomination, she lacked the moral standing to be appointed to hold a sensitive position in an electoral empire which is supposed to have integrity as one uh, on its all marks. Ms. Onoche cannot be a fair and unbiased empire to serve in the Independent National Electoral Commission. The affidavit deposed to by Ezemwa Nwagu, a board member of Yagi Africa, one of the nine plaintiffs, read in part, says the plaintiff included in their suit the process filed by Ms. Onoche in her 2016 suit declaring on oath to be an APC member and involved in active policy. The affidavit chronicled Ms. Onoche's social media posts designed to degrade uh, members of the opposition political parties that are criticism and constant denigration of political opponents cannot allow such opponents to be at ease seeing a member of another political party presiding as a supposed unbiased umpire. Well, that based on the various baseless, bigoted, and inaccurate activities of Ms. Loretta Onoche, especially on social media, she is not a person of integrity capable of occupying a sensitive and trusted position as that of a national commission, commissioner of the Independent National Electoral Commission. Well, that he knows as a fact that these factors, which are baseless, unfounded and untrue are hindrances to confirmation of Ms. Loretta Onoche as an official of the Independent National Electoral Commission, which is she cannot become the commissioner because she is a very vivid member of the All Progressive Congress and a member at that and she is so biased. She cannot be unbiased because the position she wants to attain is a very sensitive position and uh, we don't want such person. To go and you know cajole with such position because if Loretta Noche emerges the commissioner, rigging of election is certain. The following the, uh, uh, that following the false rep representation made by Miss Loretta Noche on social media, she has lost goodwill and confidence before right thinking members of the society and of Nigerians generally, especially for an occupant of a sensitive office of the National Commission commissioner of the independent national electoral commission the affidavit defied in support of their suit read in part one of the opposition figures cited by the plaintiff as having been a target of miss onoche's uh, social media attacks is former vice president atiku abubaka the presidential candidate of the people's democratic party pdp who ran against president buhari of the apc in the 2019 general election that the statements were so uh, uh, exasperating that the former vice president was compelled to commence an action in label against Ms. Loretta Onoche at the High Court of the Federal Republic Capital Territory holding at Abuja, which action is still pending before Honorable Justice Oji of the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory holding at Akpo in Abuja, the Afidafi raid in part. The plaintiff added that since her appointment as the personal assistant to the president on social media, she has been known to broadcast baseless, false, inaccurate, bigoted, and fabricated reports just in a bid to paint the first defendant's administration in a good light, some of which is inaccurate. Yes, now <laughs> I should want into the idea why will you? Uh, you Buhari appoint Loretta Onoche because Onoche has been defending Buhari and it has been stated here that most times most of what she says on social media are blasphemy and propaganda. They are lies just to support you know baseless Buhari because most of the things she has been saying to support Buhari are untrue and they are not correct. You would say you follow uh, Lai Mohammed and you'll be saying uh, Boko Haram has been defeated technically, there is no more Boko Haram, and yet we are still saying Boko Haram, you know, killing people. You said there is no more banditry, there is no more kidnapping, yet you are still saying those things. So those are the things they are looking at. If this person has been given the commissioner, hmm, so many things to go, you know, uh, 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 go down the drain and we may be in trouble. Well, I cannot read more and I cannot share more light on that. I would like you to, you know, subscribe also you know lay your comments don't forget to share this news so that others can be aware thanks for listening